Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. In today's episode, the question I'm bringing you is, when given a particular array of string, like how do you reverse each word in a sentence? Right? Now read this question properly because this is one of those most frequently asked questions in interviews, especially if you are a junior to mid-level uh, engineer. Right? So you'll be given an array of string and you'll you'll be expected to reverse each word in a particular sentence. Right? So that's the use case we are going to solve. Let's take a look how to solve it. All right, before I get started with coding, I'll request you to kindly check out my ebook that I have launched, which covers 100 plus JavaScript coding snippets that every developer must know. These, de these coding snippets will help you become better developer as well as help you crack any interview, be it front end or back end interview. So please do check it out at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, the question is given an array of strings, reverse each word in the sentence. Now we will make use of the string. Now we'll be using three different methods, okay? We'll be using reverse method, we'll be using split method, and then we have to join them back. So that's the underlining principle and the logic, right? So let's go ahead. I'll give you a sample sentence and then we will reverse it and see how it works, all right? Excited, let's get started. So I like uh, solving such problems because it tests your logical thinking abilities. So please do practice with me first and then maybe, you know, uh, you can check out for solution. It's there in the PDF that I gave you the link at. All right, so I'm going to have, I'm going to say welcome to Arc Tutorials. So this is my sample input that I get. Now, what's the expected output, right? The expected output should be, everything should be reversed, okay? Each, um, um, each character, everything should be reversed, right? So expected output if I have to write. So sometimes you would be provided, sometimes you will be expected to understand. So make sure that you do it correctly, right? So now what's the expected outcome? It should start with something like S L A I R O T U T. See this, this is tutorials, right? In the reverse order. Right. So that's the basically uh, the entire thing should be like that. OK, so it should be C R A then O T and then E. So, you know, you understand, right? So this is entire thing will be in reverse. I'm not writing it here, but I'm going to solve it. OK, so let's go ahead. So first I'm going to say reverse S T R reverse string. Right. So what I'm going to take is now I'm going to write a simple method. What it's going to do is it's going to split it. OK, now for that, I'm going to write a method. So what I'm going to say reverse string, uh, say by separator. Right. So this will be a method that I will write, which will do a return. I'm just going to give you in just a bit. So we are going to declare it and say function. What will it this return is that it will split. OK, so I'm going to say return whatever string is provided. So I'm going to say sample input as my string that will come to it. So here I'm going to say start split because that's a, a string, right? So we are going to split it. And what's the definition of split? We'll pass a string and then dot split will be the separator, right? So how do you want to split it? That's the important thing. So separator, right? So I'm going to pass that also. So this also I will parameterize and I'm going to say I'm going to pass the split separator, how I'm going to split it. And then finally, what we need to do is reverse, right? That's an array. So it would reverse. And then what do you want to do is join back again. Now, how do you want to join them back with the same split operator? Right. So basically what I'll do is I will be passing the uh, space, right, that to split that each word. So it would give me an array of one, two, three, four, right, words. And then I'm going to reverse them and then I'm going to join them back. That's the simplest input. And how do we do that is like this. I'm going to call this method. And here I'm saying sample input. So that would be my string. It's not a good idea to give string. So I'm going to say str for now. Okay, so that's my thing. And the next is the separator. 
so I'm going to say just with blank okay so now let's see what it returns and do a console log and then I'm going to break it to show you how it works in detail all right so let's go ahead and run this so see this <coughs> exactly it is reversed with the same expected output as we are expecting here right that's the reverse but I want to make it easy for you to understand this so I'm going to do step by step I'm just going to do this I've removed the reverse and join so that I can show you what it looks when you split it so when you split it it gives you each word see here right it gives you an array of each of the characters you're splitting them right then what are you doing once we did it then we are reversing that array it's an array right so we are reversing it once we reverse the sequence got changed now and now again we need to join them back so I'm going to use the same operator that I used to split which is separator and then you can see it comes welcome to our tutorials in the reverse order for each of the word very very important uh, question because oftentimes they might just ask you to reverse it right and they might not ask you to reverse it but by something else right so you can you should be able to do that so I hope it's clear uh, because this has multiple variations of how you can use it so I always encourage to write a method write a generic method and use it to split that's the best way forward all right so give it a try and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below I'll be happy to help you again I'll request you to please check out the ebook if you like these questions it will help you prepare all the logical questions that are frequently asked and you will frequently require at your work you can find that at arctutorials.gumroad.com also if you want to write to me write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode